So hey guys and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be talking about the removal of pandemonium from Drayton Manor. What does this mean for Drayton Manor going forward and what are my thoughts on the subject? If you go on to like this video please smack that like button, hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a single video. Without further ado, let's get straight on into it. So if you don't know what pandemonium is, pandemonium is a 360 swinging flat ride from Fabry that opened at Drayton Manor in 2004. It's currently located next to Apocalypse and the Buffalo Roller Coaster. Um, and as I'm going to be talking about in this video, it's just been announced that it will be closing at the end of the 2021 season, at the end of Drayton Manor's Firework Spectacular event. So the park has confirmed that you can still get on um, Pandemonium if you want to, if you go to the park at the moment. Um, but once the season ends, the 21 season ends, um, yeah, it's gone basically and it's never coming back. Um, um, they've not announced what's in its place, but on Twitter they did say that they are working to improve the park um, and add some exciting additions. But again, they gave no detail um, to what will be going in the former spot um, that um, Pandemonium takes up at the moment. Um, again, this all comes after the Looping Group bought Drayton Manor and Drayton Manor subsequently um, announced that they would be going down the family thrill route. Um, so the park will be a lot more family orientated, a lot like what Lightwater Valley um, has done over in Yorkshire. So like I said then, we knew that Drayton Manor was going to go down the family route for ages. Um, again, as soon as they announced that people were speculating on what rides were going to be removed, is Shockwave going? Is Apocalypse going? Um, we knew that um, Pandemonium was going because it was for sale for ages. Um, like Apocalypse actually, that's still for sale, so we'll have to see where that goes. Um, but uh, yeah, I personally think Drayton Manor are playing with fire here. You only have to look towards like Water Valley and American Adventure to see that a thrill park going towards a family market doesn't necessarily work. Once people get a taste for um, thrill in your park, they're going to be wanting more thrill. So yeah, in my opinion, well, Drayton Manor is going to be one to watch and it's going to be interesting to see what they get investment wise um, but again they're definitely not going to be getting anything too thrilling. So I do think that the removal of Pandemonium is a massive shame. Any ride removal is a massive shame but um, for a flat ride that was loved by many um, again it's it's, it's, it's a massive shame really. Um, like I say, um, people have a connection to this ride and you only have to look in the comment section of the ride removal post on Drayton Manor's social media um, to get an idea for how many people actually loved this flat ride. Um, I personally didn't have any connection to it. Um, I went on it once and the time that I did go on it, I didn't have a particularly good ride. It didn't ride very well for me. The restraints were uncomfortable and they locked too tightly. Um, it is made by Fabry, a manufacturer known for releasing um, cheaper flat rides um, but like I say any removal is sad um, and again this goes for pandemonium. So let's talk speculation then what could be going on the former site of pandemonium. Um, now in my opinion we're gonna get a new coaster here um, it's pretty much a no-brainer we've seen floor markings um, on the floor around that um, area um, if we are gonna see a new coaster I anticipate to see um, planning permission go in um, in 2022 um, they will then break ground in 2023 or 2024 um, the reason I think they could get a new coaster is because like I said Apocalypse is up for sale as well so if they do find a buyer for that and they manage to remove that from the park um, that's a massive plot of land for them to play with um, and if they were to move that um, wave swinger attraction that's um, themed to ships um, they also you know that that land becomes even bigger um, they've got things like Accelerator and the Buffalo Coaster in that area, so that area would be quite coaster heavy, um, but it would be a good investment if they were to get something like a small new um, Gen Vacoma, for instance, or a Zampola Family Coaster or something like that. Something that's good, but not too thrilling. Like I say then, I think this is the most possible um, outcome, in my opinion. Um, I do think we are looking at a brand new roller coaster. Now, what that would be themed to, we don't know. We know that Drayton Man is going down the themed area route. Um, so they've got their new area for this year, Adventure Cove. They've got Thomas Land. And they've got like a pirate themed area. So what I'm thinking is a um, wild 
Wild West themed area. They could theme the Buffalo Coaster up to a Wild West themed area. They've already got Sheriff Showdown they could theme into the area. And they could theme the buildings in that area around um, this Wild West theme. Um, I've, there's a lot they could do and there's a lot they could play with. Again, this is all speculation, um, but this is what I think is most uh, likely to happen to that area in Drayton Manor. So let's talk about ride removals then. What do I think could be going in the future? Um, I definitely think the thrill rides at Drayton Manor are on the chopping block. Um, we already know that Apocalypse is up for sale and that will be going at Drayton Manor um, in, at some point in the future. Um, as like looking at the other thrill rides that they've got shockwave maelstrom don't know um they could go they could not i don't think they're gonna get rid of shockwave um i think there'd be a massive uproar if shockwave was to leave drayton manor um but one roller coaster that i do think is gonna leave unfortunately will be the buffalo coaster it's getting old and when we and the last couple of times we've been to drayton manor it looks like it's been struggling also, I think the high ropes course behind the Buffalo Coaster could go, and that would allow Drayton Manor to have a bigger space to play with in terms of new rides and attractions. Um, but again, it's all speculation at this stage. We don't know anything, um, but those are just my thoughts. So guys, that's been my video on the removal of pandemonium. If you have found this video useful or you've liked it, please smack that like button, hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a single video. You're going to be wanting to be subscribed because we are going to Fantasia Land soon and I've got the end of season Alton Towers video coming up as well. So again, that's two reasons to subscribe. So definitely click that subscribe button. Please do it. I'm nearly at 400 subscribers and I really want to get there by the end of the year. Um, again, guys, I've been Ryan from my coaster, and I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye. No more.